we're heading into the holidays. It's kind of an early Christmas gift for, for investors. I think, you know, we saw in, in the month of November uh, the best performance we've seen in a long time on a number of indices, both the, the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ. In fact, the Dow and the S&P were up 9% this past month. And the S&P, actually, it's the fourth best month they've had in a decade and the second best November in 40 years. But the real major economic factors that are impacting this, investors, uh, stock analysts, and, and economists are seeing that there's going to be a shift in monetary policy. I think everyone sees that the Fed, based on what they're saying, is they're seeing potentially lower volatility in the future. So they think they're not going to raise rates in December. And a lot of uh, uh, folks are thinking, well, you know, the Fed may just be done raising rates, which really puts Wall Street in a much more optimistic mood. And why is that? Well, first and foremost, inflation is down. And yesterday, the Fed's favorite inflation index uh, called the um, Personal Consumption Expenditure Index was up only 3.5%, down uh, two-tenths of a point from last month. So that, for them, is you know inflation really moving in the right direction and closing in on that 2%, 2 2.2% 2 .2 threshold that they want. Secondly, um, last month's jobs report showed that the labor market might be cooling, and we'll see next week when the Labor Department announces their, their new jobs numbers for uh, November. We're also seeing retail sales kind of also cooling off. You know, consumers spent at a torrid pace through most of the year. In fact, in September, the uh, retail sales were up seven tenths of a percent, but October, they were only up two tenths of a percent coming into the holidays. Now, it's interesting that with the holiday shopping window uh, on us, Black Friday actually far exceeded um, the retail, the National Retail Federation's uh, expectations. We set records for Cyber Monday for online spending on Black Friday, and over 200 million consumers either went to the mall or shopped online over that weekend. So, you know, as we head into December, um, you know, we'll be cautiously optimistic looking at the inflation numbers later this month, the jobs report next week, and the Fed will make their decision on whether they want to raise rates or not. But it looks like they probably won't. And some economists and, and analysts are saying that they actually might start reducing rates as early as mid-2024 versus their original commitment to start reducing rates potentially in early 2025. So it's a nice way to end November and kick off uh, the, the, the sprint to, to the holidays uh, in December.